Hey, greetings out there. It's David Dufort from Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com. Today, uh, we're going to talk about a uh, article post I posted on LinkedIn. Um, you can check it out if you go to LinkedIn, look at my profile. I just posted it up as of January the 6th or 7th. But anyways, the title of the article was The Truth About Final Expense Commission. I had a couple agents making some comments on there. One agent in particular said something that kind of, I don't know, disturbed me. So let me kind of explain. So this agent said that talented agents get bogged down by the realities, in so many words, of final expense. The leads, commission levels, blah, blah, blah. And so that kind of struck a chord with me. Because on a larger note, one of the things you always hear about is sales a, are you born a salesman or are salesmen made? Meaning is there a difference between talent, natural talent, and work ethic? And I'm here to tell you that work ethic is crucial and is the differentiating factor to success in the final expense business. I hate when I hear people really prop up the idea of talent or natural skill because a lot of times people who are very talented are extremely lazy. Um, you know, the media loves to talk about uh, sports professionals, um, people who make it in life as being talented, but very commonly they fail to actually tell the entirety of the story, which is the hard work that was brought along to develop that person into a skilled professional, be it in sports or in sales or in any endeavor. And that's always very frustrating because I think of myself, I think I'm a pretty smart individual, but I can tell you 15 years ago, not even 5 or 10 years ago, I was extremely afraid to even pick up the phone and call Pizza Hut to order pizza. I just hated talking to strangers. I'm, I'm a natural introvert, actually. And so I was definitely not born a salesman, uh, at least my perception of myself was that I wasn't. And so... It took years of persistence, uh, years of changing my mindset, hard work to get myself out of the comfort zone. And I heard that for years. It's such a trite, commonplace uh, you know, uh, idea, but it, it's true. You have got to push yourself out of the comfort zone that you're in in order to grow. You have to basically risk exposing or risk failure in order to possibly get to the next level of what you're capable of. And so in sales, when it comes to, to, to talent, it, it's so overrated because the guys that win in this business, sure, they've developed talent, but the talent came with the willingness to take a risk, to get out there, knock on doors, take the risk of getting rejected, take the risk of being yelled at, door slammed in their face, getting uh, embarrassed, going on calls continuously and not making sales. That is the risk, the hard work that's involved, really in any endeavor, definitely final expense, that you have to do in order to succeed. And so when I hear about people who, who talk about the greatness of talent, I think it's a bunch of crap. You know, if you get involved in final expense and you get your 20 or 25 leads, if you make it your life's mission to take that stack of leads hit the door Monday morning and knock every one of those doors, I promise you, you can be an average, commonplace salesperson, not be a dynamite closer or know the best fact-finding approach, but if you get out there and you see the people and you do whatever it takes sort of breaking in, you will sell more deals than the talented guy who is too good to work hard, who thinks of himself too highly to actually get out there and work his butt off. And so I felt uh, obligated to do this video because it, it always frustrates me when people talk and over-exaggerate the importance of talent. Sure, it's important, but so is the work ethic. We don't hear enough of that, and it's important to shine the light on if you're looking in the final expense, that work ethic is the differentiating, differentiating X factor that makes all the difference in this business. So remember that. Look, you don't have to be a great salesman. You don't even have to be a salesman to su succeed in final expense. What you need is an open mind, and you need to be willing to work six days a week for as long as possible to work every single last lead that you get every week. 
And that's how you develop into a successful final expense agent. My name is Dave Duford. Of course, I'm the owner and operator of Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com. If you want to check out more of my videos, I got a ton all over the place in YouTube. I got a bunch of articles on Final Expense or feagentmentor.com. You're welcome to check out. And um, thanks for listening. Take care.